are not normal at all, no I feel like I want to Let down my guard and just fall lovelies and welcome to Peachy. I want to start this video with a little story of when I looked my worst. It wasn't when I was ill or hadn't slept in two days or something like that. It was when I was hired as a model for a hair saloon in London. And when the guy was done beating my face, I looked legit. First of all, I looked like a raccoon, but I looked legit like a 40, 50 year old and I was like early 20s at the time. And that goes to show that everything is possible with makeup, good and bad. So today I want to show the five most common makeup mistakes that will aid you and also how to correct them. So if you want to find out whether you might be guilty of one of these mistakes, then you should stay tuned right now. In order to understand what makes you look old, we first of all need to understand what features make a person look young. One very typical feature of a youthful appearance is plump skin that still has quite a bit of baby fat underneath, resulting in roundish soft contours. The opposite of that are very sharp facial contours. And that leads me to mistake number one, contouring. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you the makeup mistakes on one side of my face and the corrected version on the other side. Although contouring is one of the most popular makeup practices these days, it can aid you significantly because it accentuates the sharp contours in your face, especially things like cheekbones. So if you already have quite defined cheekbones, then skip the contouring and try working with blush instead. Choose your blush in a fresh color that isn't too brown and apply it as high as possible. Then you can still add a bit of bronzer to your forehead and wherever it looks natural in order to get that healthy sun-kissed skin color. Mistake number two, too much concealer or baking. So this is a highly popular makeup technique that we see a lot in YouTube tutorials and on influencers, which is sort of painting a huge triangle with concealer under your eye and then coat it in powder and let it rest for a few minutes until you lightly brush the excess powder off. We call that baking. Baking gives you a super matte finish and a strong coverage, but at the price of making the under eye skin prone to looking more wrinkly. It does look comparatively good on camera and in fact, this is a technique that definitely makes a lot of sense for performance on big stages and on TV, etc. But in real life, face to face, it makes you look older. What I like to do instead is place a little bit of concealer onto my ring finger and starting from the inner corners, building up the coverage gently and only until I have the coverage I need. This way I can make sure I'm using the least product possible. Then I place some translucent powder onto my brush and very gently tap it onto the areas where I used concealer. Now the difference is a little bit difficult to show on camera, but can you see how this side looks more wrinkly than the other one? That definitely is a mistake you can easily avoid, plus it saves you a lot of product. Mistake number three, wrong eyeshadow color. Another common makeup mistake that ages you is an unflattering eyeshadow choice. Color-wise, very dark shades often turn out problematic because they can make your eyes appear more sunken, an effect that happens naturally as you age, especially when you put very dark colors in your crease. So instead, I would recommend focusing on softer nude, brownish shades. I like to use two or three quite light colors on my eyelid that progressively get darker as I approach the outer corners of my eye and then I use a bit of bronzer on my crease. In terms of the finish, try to stay away from overly metallic or super glittery formulas as they can exacerbate the appearance of dry skin or fine lines. I would recommend using mostly matte shades but including one light shade with a subtle shimmer that I place in the center of my lid or in the inner corner depending what suits best with your eye shape. Mistake number four, unflattering lip contour or lipstick choice. When it comes to lips, there are two main mistakes you can make. First of all, you line your lips in a way that doesn't look flattering. For example, when you accentuate the sides too much, instead of the middle part, Cupid's bow, etc., you get that kind of duck mouth appearance. And secondly, 
you pick the wrong lipstick shade or formula. Shades that are too dark and also shades that are too light are always tricky, especially when they have mostly grayish undertones and are quite matte and non-transparent. For a more natural, youthful look, I would recommend following the natural shape of your lips, maybe accentuating the cupid's bow a little bit, not overlining too much and then using transparent colors with rosy or peachy fresh undertones. For extra plumpness, you could also add a little bit of a clear rosy gloss. Mistake number five, thick, dark, artificial looking eyebrows. The fifth mistake that is very common and that can add a few years is making your eyebrows too thick, too dark and too artificial looking. I know a lot of people, especially beauty bloggers, that love this extremely, let's call it, accurate look, but especially when you then also pick a color that's a lot darker than your natural color, it can really age you and make you look harsh. In comparison, when you pick a shade that matches or is slightly lighter than your natural eyebrow color and fill it in in a way that still looks natural, your whole face will have a much softer and more youthful appearance. Of course, don't forget to brush your eyebrows up and fixate them with some eyebrow gel for a little bit of that extra lift. Mistake number six, eyeliner. Last but not least, we have the eyeliner department, where you can really effectively add a few years. Now, to start off, eyeliner is generally a matter that's quite individual, depending on your eye shape. But there is one eyeliner mistake that's quite universal in terms of making things worse, and that's adding black liner to your lower waterline, or, which looks even worse, on me at least, adding black eyeliner underneath my waterline. This will make your eyes look immediately droopy and hence age you, unless you have naturally more of a cat eye shape. Generally though, the color black is very unforgiving, especially the older we get. And black liquid liner is even more unforgiving. I actually don't think it has to age you, but the older you get, the more it needs to be done very well and uh, that becomes increasingly difficult as skin starts to sag. Generally though, if you do liquid eyeliner, you should make sure the stroke isn't too thick. And I would recommend only placing it on the outer corner of your eye, not all the way through. At least on me that looks better and more gentle. If you want to be on the safe side though, you could also work with a bit of brown liner, liquid or a pencil, whatever you prefer. And since we're talking about eyes, I have one bonus mistake for you. Quite a few people don't put enough effort in doing the lashes, oftentimes using super old mascaras that basically do nothing since they're dried out. I think lashes that are done really well work wonders for an overall open fresh look, so you should always curl them and then carefully paint them with your favorite fresh mascara. And these, my lovelies, were my six mistakes to avoid in terms of makeup techniques that age you. Last but not least, I want to make one thing very clear. You can, of course, wear any makeup color or texture that you feel comfortable with at any age. This video was just meant for people who want to sort of maximize on their youthful appearance or who feel like their makeup doesn't look as good anymore as it used to look or that are just simply interested. It should definitely not be understood as having any sort of restrictive character. In fact, when I'm 70 years old, I will definitely be one of those very extravagant, over-the-top grandmas. Like, I'll wear bright pink lipstick for breakfast and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do me. On that note, I'm gonna wish you the most wonderful rest of the day and I'm gonna see you very soon. Bye-bye.